Dame Olivia Newton-John was an internationally renowned singer, actress and activist and her death took many fans and supporters by surprise. However, her nearest and dearest could see she was deteriorating quickly and were able to share some final words with the icon before she left. Olivia tragically died in her home in California, USA, with her husband, John E. Sterling, 70, by her side. Seeing his wife's deterioration, John was able to set up phone and video calls with her close friends and family so everyone could say their last goodbyes to the star. John called Olivia's close friends and longtime colleagues Amy Skye, 62, and Beth Nielsen Chapman, 64, and gave them the opportunity to speak to Olivia. Even though the singer couldn't talk at the time of their call, the women said it was a gift to have the chance to tell her they loved her one last time. Olivia died just two days after their phone call. Speaking to Hello Magazine, Amy recounted the call, We told her that we loved her, we both sang to her, I sang the chorus of grace and gratitude to her and Beth sang part of Sand and Water. To be able to tell her that we loved her and that we were grateful for her and to say goodbye was the most important thing. Beth revealed that she was in the middle of Dallas airport in America but took the call anyway, talking to her lifelong friend while being crunched over the garbage cans to disguise what she was saying on the phone. All three women had known each other for decades as they all worked in the music industry. The trio had performed together in 2017 for their Live On tour, and while the tour was a celebration, Beth and Amy returned to devastating news. When the tour ended, Dame Olivia informed them of her latest cancer diagnosis. While she had been diagnosed with breast cancer twice before, it had now also been found in her spine. News of the singer's death hit headlines across the world, and the reinvested interest in her and her charities is helping Amy cope with her grief. Don't miss, as she explained, there is so much energy about her in the world right now, I'm soaking that in and thinking about her. I'm in denial. Near the end of September, Olivia's niece Toddy Goldsmith, 60 appeared on Good Morning Britain to share how she plans to continue her aunt's charitable work. Dame Olivia created the Walk for Wellness fundraiser, which allows people across the world to take part in the initiative and raise funds for her Cancer Wellness and Research Center in Melbourne. The center conducts vital research into cancer treatments and offers patients a full range of different services, from oncology massages to music therapy. Olivia notoriously felt that the focus for patients should be on living well with cancer, not just on being cancer-free. Toddy revealed that she would be walking this year's event hand-in-hand -hand with Olivia's daughter Chloe Latanzi, 36, adding, Helping keep Olivia's legacy alive is just such an important thing. We're both very passionate about it, I've been doing this for a long time. Till the day I die, I will be keeping her legacy alive.